Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Tag us in your makes. We love to see what you're making. We're very sociable. Follow us to stay up to date with everything new at Tonic Studios. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Stay up to date with Tonic Studios by subscribing to our mailing list. Never miss a video. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon. Have you got a question for us crafters? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the Tonic Craft Kit and get 10% off every order. Every order. Have you got a big order? Pay in instalments using ClearPay, ShopPay and PayPal. Need to know when your favourite products are in stock? Click notify me when available and we let you know. Can't wait to get a die set? Click notify me when available and we'll let you know. Visit the Tonic Studios craft room for inspiration, information and tutorials all in one place. Looking for a freshly launched product? Head to the new launches tab on the Tonic Studios website. And welcome to Tonic Studios. I was waiting for my five second countdown and she didn't give me that. Oh, no, no today. <laughs> welcome to the weekend. You've got me, Karen. You've got the me, lovely Alison. And you've got Leo Press in the buttons today. Hello. So the girls have taken over. The we boys have. had their turn. Mm -hmm. And we said, no, no. We're, we're back. back, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Cam's away on holiday. He is. He is. He's having he a is. lovely time, I'm sure, in Alanaga. Yes. Uh, where or is Lenarca. that? Cyprus. Oh, Lenarca. Cyprus, that's right. Cyprus. Uh, so, yes, we've got Leo pressing the buttons today, uh, which is why I'm actually on camera, because I'm pretty sure I won't have a voice for the whole of it. We'll manage. <laughs> You've got me sounding like I've smoked, smoked 40 fags a day. <laughs> me sniffing away in the corner. <laughs> and me without a voice. So, I mean, all your prayers have been answered. Oh. I'm a bit quieter today than I have been in We're the not past. a good state, are we? We're just not. We are not. So, as you know, on the weekend, uh, we have a little look at what we've done this week. We'll have a little bit of a demo with Al, and then we'll have a look at what we've got coming next week. And also a bit of show and tell. So, we're going to have to squeeze all of that in before half past two. Yes. Come on in, let's go for it. Get going. So, first at the gates then was Jenny Crawford. Hello, Did that light just go brighter? Yes. Oh. That's what was wrong. Mm. The light wasn't working properly. The light's brighter now. Okay. There we are. Hi, Jenny. Thank you for joining us. We've got Emily from Louisiana. I was just saying, I'd love, love to visit New Orleans. 
maybe one day you never you know. Never know. Our Raquel is here, paint and glitter. Hello. Hello. Bella is here from Germany, Hello. and Julie's Crafts, and Janelle, and Regina, and Bella from Germany as well. Lorraine Smith is here. Melissa Craig, wow. Diana Wag, Margaret Crook, Rachel Snook. Um, Kelly James, hi Kel, hope you're okay. Hello to you all. Uh, Cass Crafty, uh, does anyone know which weekend did Karen make the book out of the delicate floral cards? Oh, was that the, is that the foiled card blanks? Is that what they're called? When we made a memory book out of cards and envelopes. Oh, I just made that out of the cards themselves. I didn't cut them, did I? Is that what that was? I don't know. Possibly. I'll see if I can find it. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, Emily, Lee will have a little look for that for you. Uh, Crafty Melanie is here. Hello. Uh, mm -mm, Laurie Rose is here as well. Sat in the car on the A1, engine off, waiting for the traffic to move. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, Laurie, oh, I'm nightmare. so sorry you're stuck there. Mm. Nightmare. Kathy Gordon is here from a sunny but wet London. We actually don't have rain at the moment. Mm. I know. Touch all of the wooden things, everyone. Exactly. Because we're out tomorrow, and I'd like to be not rained on, if possible. You do not want to take an umbrella? I do not. An umbrella, St. Alison. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Renee has joined us as well. Hello. Uh, gotta love Doctor Appointment Days when I take off work and get to watch you. Oh, oh bless thank you. Thank you, Renee. Uh, Mo is here from Muggy Sticky no. Orange, Texas. That didn't take long to come around, Mo. Mm. Wow. Oh. Anne Taylor is joining us. Hello, Anne. Handcrafted by Gaz. Hi, Gaz. Hello. Uh, Emma Rose and DCI Hair is in the house. Evening, Evening all. Um, who else is here? Blue Moon from Michigan. Well, you uh, Michigan. <laughs> Can I just say, I love Janelle's comment. Ali has a apron on stand back. <laughs> yeah, it is. You should it be is much splatter back. today. I should, I'll not. try and behave myself. <laughs> um, and F. Pollard has joined us as well. Hello. Uh, Blake Regina's had her package yesterday. Thank Excellent. you very much. Um, <laughs> Tracy Kershaw is here as well. Managed to make it for the live. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Uh, requests for dog and cat stamps and dies and musical stamps and dies, please. We'll oh. Pop it on the list, Janelle. Yes. We're always after um, ideas. Uh, Sarah Charnock is here. Hi, Sarah. Hello, uh, my lovely. Melanie is. Blake, have you seen Melanie's comment? Uh, she's written you a uh, message on Facebook, so have a little look at that. Uh, Leah is here, tonic time. Whoop whoop. Hiya, Leah. Hi, Leah. Can I get a whoop whoop? Uh, Debbie Travaskis is here from Somerset. Hello. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That Sussex, Sussex Lancastrian, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hello, my lovely. We have to have full titles first, mm -hmm. obviously. Obviously. Yes. Are we getting messy today, Ali? Is we are. We are. I've hidden it all away over here. <coughs> Anne Shuttleworth is here. Have I said Anne? I feel like I have. I can't remember. Uh, Adonmo is here. Hello, fam. Hi, Adonmo. Hello. Nice to see you here. RJ's Creations as well. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you too. Uh, DCI Foot is also in the house. Evening all. Evening all indeed. Waiting for a peek. Craft kit is tomorrow. Did we oh, not bring the craft kit down? We didn't. Oh, we did oh. this last time. Blake, do you want to drop the craft kit down to us, love? Just oh, one or two Just samples. One or two, one or two samples, if you don't mind. Uh, we've got Neva Hello. and Anne's Crafts. Hello. Uh, I was about to say, does that mean the team is back at full health? Then Karen coughed. Yeah, it's not going to happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> so all a little bit, it's all a little bit German all an infested. Illusion. All a bit German infested. And Judith Graham has just sneaked in at the end there. Hello, Hi. my lovely. Judith. So today we are just going to have a little run through on what we did this week. So Monday, we had Make It Monday. Uh, those were card kit bundles, and th they are available until next Monday when they get switched off. Um, we had, uh, on Tuesday, we had Tuesday, 
two products at half price for 24 hours only. So were you lucky enough to get those? Let us I know. know that one of them was the table tidy. Wow. Was it the table tidy? Yes. It was half price. You had the main caddy and the two little ones as well. Ooh, oh, do you have little wow, ones? That's I didn't good. know that. Yeah, that is a good. very good deal. Um, uh, DCA Foot said, Blake, as many as you can physically carry, please. <laughs> no. Do. Oh. Do. And that's Karen saying I that. I know. Well, let me see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's vicious. She is vicious. Julia Burst is joining us. Hello. Um, and Ms. L is here as well. Hello. Hello. Linda. Anyone else? Is there a way subscribers can ask for a past kit, maybe through customer service, and get it at the reduced price? Sometimes you may not be ready, but really want it. Well, Adonmo, you may be lucky in our next week's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. hangabout. Hang yeah. about and we'll, we'll let you know what's happening next week. Um, so I got as far as Tuesday, our Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We also had the craft along where Leo showed you how to use our amazing oh, our little oh, craft sorry. kit. So this was... And then you pop your credit... I say this all the time. <laughs> card. Gift card. Don't put your credit card in. <laughs> Never. It depends how good you are. <coughs> Never put your credit card in. Your gift card, your lottery ticket. Oh, yes, your indeed. Any gift you want. Money, mm -hmm. notes, they will all fit in there. I was going to say paper money. It's not paper money anymore, is it? It's plastic money. Yeah, no. Mm. It's not the same. Not we love same. notes instead. Mm. I know, I don't like plastic money. Either. No, it's too bouncy. It's weird. Yes. You, when you, you take it out of your purse and then like another one flies up with it, it's like, whoa. I Drastic. really like this, though. So. <coughs> there we I, are. I apologise for coughing, everyone. This is still available on the website as well. Yes, it so is. So this is our jam jar. Gift. Jam pot gift box. Oh, it's jam pot. Jam pot gift card holder. That. It's not a box, is it, this time? No. Uh, so that was Tuesday. We did our craft along. Um, and we also launched Majestic Mosaic, which is what I was going to be playing with today. I am. So this is the first of our <gasps> our embossing folders. Amazing. So we've got two embossing folders. One's called Pretty Petal Trellis and the other one is called Leafy Lattice. And then you've got your majestic mosaic, which will fit over the top of it. So or this you is cut meant. it up into sections or yeah. mixy matchy. Very much so. Mixy matchy. Oh, I can hear the door going. So you have three sections here. They all have an outer Hello. edge. Thank you very much. Are oh, you letting me choose? Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, we're actually showing kit. No, this is John Pot. No, we just want a couple of samples. Where are they? I don't know. I tried to look in your room. Because they went back. Oh, they're not in our room. room. They're in the marketing, marketing room. Marketing. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That was Blake. <laughs> so they all have an outer edge, so you can cut them all into your cardstock because they're all verso. Mm -hmm. Or you use part of them plus your embossing folder. You cover bits with the embossing folder. Yeah. You cover the bits of the embossing folder with a die. You mixy matchy. You do. You've got extra lay extra dies here to cut some nice edges. I mean, obviously, you can um, pop these in your trimmer, but it was just an option yeah. in case you wanted a little decorative but edge. It, in yes, exactly. So you've got a gorgeous scallop. I love that scallop, mind. And you've also got a dotted edge here. Yeah. So, you you know, you can... Obviously, you can cut it with a straight edge, mm -hmm. whatever you choose. But to have the decorative edges as well, we like that. Yes, we do. We do. Um, Nicole has just joined in to uh, see us as well from Perth in Western Australia. Hello. Good evening to you, Nicole. And who else did I see? Oh, Neva says she can't believe the new craft kit reveal is tomorrow. Only two months and it'll be the Christmas reveal. Oh, my Lord. 
Wow. It feels like Christmas is only just gone, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, but we work on Christmas constantly. I know, I know. It never stops. No, no. But the one thing with this, if I show you, look at this card, Leo made oh, this gorgeous I card. I love that. I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this is one for the men in your life. I think or so. Or it can be for the men in your life. It can, it can. Very often, things are so flowery that you can't always make a more mm. masculine looking card out of it. Uh, but when you've just got the leaves like that, you can, can't you? Exactly. So Leo has used some inks around the edges. Mm. I think she did a bit of splattering on this one. It looks like it. Um, I think I highlighted the top of the. It looks like well. that. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful. Lee. It looks nicer than that in real life. It does actually. It doesn't actually photograph all that well, to be fair. And I like that one. This one is gorgeous. Ah, as well. he's found um Yeah. Yeah. I can't even see that. The lights are too bright. <laughs> Lovely, thank you very much. So this one, yep. Leo's cut out a smaller section in the middle and she's oh, done a black and white um, alternating design. So a nice little funky one there. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to pop these to one side for now. Okay. Lovely. All right. Yeah. Sorry. You're being nosy. Yeah. I haven't seen those samples. Oh. Have you not? Wow. No, no, I haven't. Um, oh. So that was on Tuesday. So that is available on our website now. Don't forget, if you are a Tonic Craft Kit subscriber, you do get your 10% off. 10% <coughs> off. <laughs> it's just not working today. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Uh, so on to Thursday. We skipped a day this week. Uh, so your new Shop Your Crafts deals went live yesterday and these were our spring bundles. Mm. Lovely springy colours. There was a nice selection of cardstock there. There was some pencils. I'm not sure whether they were classic or watercolour. Um, but there was also some mousse. And that's what we thought we'd share with mm -hmm. you today. Definitely. So to top it off, we've got Flash Friday offers today. And on Create and Craft, you'll be able to catch Jodie uh, this afternoon at 4 p.m. with the terrific triple towers. Now, I'm moving this very gently. I know, because the ties are out. Um, we have had this previously uh, from us here. I mean, this is an amazing die set. It is. Everything comes on one sheet. Oh, let's move and that And it is jam-packed. You're probably going to have to move that out of the way and go like this. Just a zoom. There you go. I mean, look at that. There's not a square inch on that where no. you could fit anything else. I mean, perhaps we could have... I mean, she's slacking a bit. We could have got a flower in there. You yeah, know what we could have. Yeah. I mean, Jordi Saka. does not waste Saka. space, does she? <laughs> she does not. <coughs> but all these you can make. So, so you, you have get to make the Helter Skelter, the Lighthouse, and the, the windmill. windmill. They come apart, as mm -hmm. you can see in the image here, and you can fill it with little bottles. Yes, we tested that. It we works. did. <laughs> you know the mini wine bottles? Mm -hmm. They will fit in there. Yes. Um, Angela put one in. She did. Mm. She did. Some sweets. Yep. Anything like that. So Jodie already had those because this was something that was meant to have gone on a while ago. Uh, but we had a delay. Uh, but now they're in. They are. Thankfully. So the prep was already up with Jodie. We had no rushes to get this done. So the girls were able to post all their bits and pieces. And that's why we haven't got any samples here to share with you. Indeed. Because they're all with Jodie. Yeah. So that is today. Uh, 4 p.m., 8 p.m., and then tomorrow, 8 a.m. and 12 midday. Well done. Well done, my lovely. Mm. Gosh, the comments are flying I know. Out there. I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up on these uh, first of all, and then we're gonna go to Al's uh, make make. That word. Demonstration is the word I was looking for, and it wasn't coming into my <laughs> head at all. 
so who else have we got with us? I've gone to there. Uh, Raquel is saying possible vault sales. Yay, Adon will be on the lookout. Indeed. Uh, I cannot believe the new craft group. Really. Yes, I did that one, didn't I? That was Neva. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little look. And then they've, we've got Leo shouting, break. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly that. Leo, Vanessa. not Neo. Oh, is that what I said again? Oh, man. The words are not working today. <laughs> Oh dear. I can't speak. Oh dear. I mean that And it's no be... good because I can't read at this distance either. No. no. <laughs> we uh, are a right pair, aren't we? Sue here is saying she's disappointed there's not been more from Tonic on creating craft for their birthday event. Oh we dear. We had some some product issues. We did have some product issue issues. So that has meant that we've had to move things around mm -hmm. and we shimmy have. things. We have. Unfortunately. Very much so. Leah says, stop bringing out such pretties when she has no money. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry my darling. Really sorry. Uh, Barbara has joined us from Indiana. Uh, Di Ainan has joined us as well. Hello. To you too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, Blake. <laughs> uh, where did I get to? Ah, oh, there we go. I only hate it when you buy the wrong GSM card for construction. I'm sad I can't oh. make any teacups this weekend. Oh, I'm sure you can, Joanne. What have you got? You can make it up to what you've got. Yes, definitely. you can. Definitely. Positive. Whatever, whatever you've bought, I'm pretty sure will do it. Um, there's not really many curves in that. No, they're all straight edges. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. We've I'm sure you've got a selection of card stock there, Joanne. I know I used um, some pearl, mm. which means I've used 250. Yeah. Vicky used 240. Yes. We've used um, Craft Perfect, Craft Perfect mm -hmm. as well. As long as you layer it up, it'll all be fine. Go for it. Go for it. And uh, don't Diane forget, Shaw, share so it with us. If you can't find us on YouTube, we are definitely there, Diane. So I've got some lots of new YouTube mm. comments here. Uh, already placed my order for the triple tower die set last night. Don't create a craft. Was it on last night? No, I think the products were. Oh, oh the product right. Went live. Right, okay. Um, yes, you have lots of um, inspiration from Geordie. So have a little look, Judith. She'll definitely be showing you. And there's lots of, that. of new samples as well. Yes, there right? are. So even though this was an X showcase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, we obviously had more samples for Geordie to take on TV as well. Uh, Vanessa McKenzie might have bought stuff yesterday as there were lots of bargains. Excellent. Fill your boots. Don't forget. Oh, Nicole. Oh, no. What's Nicole happened? has good and bad news. Good news is she can watch you too. All she likes for six weeks. <gasps> what have you done? Bad news is she's broken her wrist and can't craft. Oh, Nicole, I'm you so sorry. You need to keep saving all your ideas, Nicole, because there's lots of things you're going to want to mm. make. You're going to see them and you're going to want to make them. Jot them down <coughs> in a little book. Yeah. Keep the book by the side of them. Yes. Screenshot them. I yes. screenshot loads of stuff all the time. That's why your phones are full, isn't it? I never it? Yeah, well, my um, update, I couldn't update my iPhone because <laughs> my, my phone was full. Basically. Oh dear. So I had to do some deleting yesterday so I could uh, Oops. I could update my phone last night. It's been oh, saying yeah. it for three days. <laughs> update could not be completed. Oh god. Oh no. Let's delete some stuff. Yeah, no good. Absolutely not. Regina has had her champagne on ice <gasps> yesterday. Nice. Just in time for graduation season. Amazing. Fantastic. I didn't think Amazing. of that. Amazing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's crafty watching while they work on Twitch. Thank Excellent. you for joining us. Um, who else? Who else have we got? Uh, I'm disappointed as both launches are repeats. I have money in my account and nothing to spend it on. So oh, you will. So you will. We we'll find you something. Don't yeah, worry. Definitely. We will we've find got, you something. We've got lots of new stuff coming. You are going to love it. 
Nice. Janine Harris is joining us. You guys have awesome dyes. I've been buying the dyes since the magical fairy one. Uh, you give a money's worth. We I try. Wish I could get a hold of your train dye. Janine, when we have um, demand for something that's gone out previously and we've already ordered it in once again, we don't tend to order it a second time on top of the ori original mm -hmm. launch. But what we will do is we'll make something that looks something like it. So keep your eyes out because... We do, we're bigger and better, don't we? We do. Holidays are coming. Cheeky, cheeky. Yes. She's very cheeky, cheeky today. Uh, are the Terrific Towers on the site? So the Terrific Triple Towers are on Create and Craft today. They will get two weeks exclusivity for mm -hmm. that product since it's come back into stock. And what is left will be going back onto our website in two weeks' time. So you will get, be able to get them from us as well. Uh, Dee Sewell has joined us as well, uh, enjoying another carousel with horses this time. Oh, Going nice. slow and enjoying every second. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Joanna said, might buy it again. Oh. <laughs> Um, oh dear me. Linda saying she missed the kit. No, I haven't shown it yet, Linda. That's not until uh, now next week's episode. We don't show that one yet, do we? Not, not yet. yet. Next week's segment, that one is. Right. Uh, I need to make the triple towers now to show the will it fit pictures. Of course oh, it will. Do you know what, Regina, when you did that with the egg, it was so funny. I've got that for today. <coughs> <laughs> oh know. dear. It will fit anything. Whatever you want to put in. Oh, oh I got so an funny. Nose. Uh Joanna said, did anyone find a way to put the staircase all the way around the help to skeleton in the end? I don't know. Um all the angles are very different. Yeah. Because it's going around and at an angle as mm -hmm. well, we found that we could only make that decorative for the front. So And there was no room on the die. Oh, like I say, what did I miss? I got distracted by the puppy. Oh. We, we have a puppy in the building. Um, he's our emotional support puppy. Mm -hmm. But when we started filming earlier for something else, uh, he needed emotional support. Oh, he was God, crying he in the room him. next door. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> he's beautiful. I can't even remember his name. He's something Bessa, from The Witcher. Vesemir? Vesemir? Vesemir. Yeah. He's a black lab. Yes. He looks like a black lab. Oh, he's and adorable. He's got, he's, you know, when they're puppies and he's got a little, little fatty belly. Oh, and he's waddling, waddling around because he's, he's got fatty belly. Oh, I love him. He's beautiful. Um, oh, Cass. Oh, he's oh, gorgeous. Like. He's absolutely gorgeous. Um, where are we? Okay. And we have a tonic puppy. Well, Kind of. It belongs to uh, Beef and Lauren in the warehouse. And he is gorgeous. Uh, Miss Heffalump has joined us. Hello. Straight to detention. Indeed, Emma. You know, feel free to... Can't be having this. Feel free to class. stay around. Feel free to stay around. Is the free storage box still active or did it end? Do we know that, Lee? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can we find that. out? Blake. Blake. Someone? Yeah. Blake. Blake. Maybe Blake knows. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Does it say on here? Keep talking. I'll find out. Okay. We will. Uh, Joanna's got some 220 GSM. That That's fine. fine. That's ah, fine. Absolutely fine. Just especially, put your layers on there. Yeah, especially for the teacups. Yeah. You don't need much for those anyway. Uh, plenty. Plenty thick enough for that. Perfect. You've got with um, the twirling teacups you've got like stabilizing pieces mm -hmm. so even if you make it out of a thinner cardstock you'll be able to to get the and the if you think there. it's too thin you can always put a layer inside the cup as well as outside yeah. yes you could so you there's could. plenty of ways that you can rectify yeah even if there is a bit of an issue mm -hmm. uh, supreme has joined us hello, hello. to you uh, puppy in the building and you're not showing it how rude Oh. We did offer to have him in yeah, here. Yeah, we did. We did. We did offer. I'm really sorry, my throat is sore. It's really sore. 
Do you want me to do so? Um, where are we here? Leanne Ward has joined us. It's, it's Hello, skipped Leanne. to the bottom, so I'm reading up. Oh. I'm sorry, that's my fault. I've put in the link for the weekend where you did the card and envelope. Thank you very much. Mini book. Um, Elizabeth White has joined us. So Hello, excited Elizabeth. I didn't miss this. I'm usually at work. Oh, bless you. Enjoy oh. your day off. Uh, yes, that's Leanne Ward there. And Elfie is here as well. Hi, Hi Elfie. Elfie. Um, happy Heffalump, Heffalump Friday. Yes. Um, storage container offer ended on the 17th. Oh, ended oh, on the 17th. Dear. Sorry, Mo. Oh, missed it by a couple of days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Almost done with my mini album and the pop-up. I should be able to show you soon. That's off Melissa. Oh, nice. Yay, can't, can't wait, wait for that. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Who else is here? Let's have a little, did I say hello to Annie? Yeah, I'm sure I did. I think we did. Yes, I did, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I think I've caught up. I said hello to Supreme, didn't I? Yes. Uh, any idea when Buttermilk Yellow will be back in stock? I don't know. I don't know, Supreme. We did have quite a lot back in, didn't we? But it wasn't Buttermilk Yellow was not no. We still had it in stock when that order was placed. That mm. was the problem. Yes. And they really speak, and they should have topped everything up. And they didn't. Silly, silly. Uh, Sandra Hazley is joining us. Uh, Nicole, my fairy has arrived this week. So happy, but have to wait to play. Oh, you do, lovely. you do. Oh, I hope that heals quite quickly. I've done something to mine, and it's you not have. good. You I have. can't even crank a die cutter machine at the moment. I've had to um, resort to electric. Not good, is that? Not my favourite at all. Uh, I think we are caught up again. Yeah. Oh, hang on. We've got a Facebook user. First time to have caught you live. I haven't got your Hello. name. I'm so sorry. I've been busy making the bento box set this morning. Oh, nice. I love the bento box. It is lovely. It's such a big, sizable. Yes. You yeah, had those three sections inside. Oh, I loved it. I love the bento oh, box. You fill it with all sorts of mm -hmm. goodies. Yep. Definitely. All little sweets in there. Mm-hmm. And Gemma Swift is joining us. Hiya, Gemma. As well as Laura from um, Texas. Hello. 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 To everyone. Okay, what are you playing with, Al? Moose. I <coughs> thought we would share some moose with you. Because is there a moose loose about this hoose? There is a moose loose. There is a moose hoose. loose. <laughs> Excuse as soon as you said that, that was one that was in my head. Excuse the accent. <laughs> oh, Vicky's joined us as well. Hi, Vicky. Hiya, Vicky. She's busy playing with something exciting and having so much fun. Oh, I know what she's playing with. Bless. Right. So, there may be or there may be not a nice little offer on mooses next week. Is oh. it just moose? Well, well. Yeah. well. Sunday there is an Sunday, offer. Sunday, yeah. Mm. I'll read out Sundays then. So we got as far as Go Saturday. Then. I'll read out Sunday. So uh, you get new Sunday specials, midnight, which is six die deals. But you also get buy one and get two free. That's an amazing offer. Across embellishment, expanding and chalk mousse. We may as well just I open won. the doors and say, come on in, help yourself. I know. It's not, it's not a three for two. It's a three for one. I know. You buy one and you get three. I mean, You get to choose your colours as well. We don't just give you random, you know, random three. You get to choose what colours you that have. That is awesome. It is. It Absolutely really is. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Sarah said she's been making the bento box as well. And she'll oh, be making nice. more. Oh, nice. Uh, Gaz is saying he's got a lot of moose and doesn't know how to use it. Well, well, we'll Here's give you some ideas today. And Blake wants chocolate moose. <laughs> we do like chocolate moose, like but chocolate that's moose. not what I've got today. <coughs> so I have got three different mooses, and I wanted to show you the difference. So our first moose, I'm going to share with you. I can't remember whether I opened these. I've not opened that one, but I know I've opened this one. Oh, so have. this, I have, I've been using this one. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to catch the corner. The corner of the circle? Yeah, corner of the circle. <laughs> corner of the, the foil. So this <coughs> is our 
embellishment most. Leah says, no crackle with a sad face. Oh, no Do we crackle. not have any crackle left in stock? Perhaps that's the Possibly problem. No, I'll have a look. I don't know either. Because I would think it would be across all of the moosey moosies. I would have thought. So this is quite a buttery texture. Mm-hmm. And it'll go on smooth. That's our embellishment mousse, is it? This is our embellishment. Okay. See I'm going to grab a wipe in a sec because I don't want to transfer anything into Absolutely the other pot. Absolutely not. My embellishment mousse has micro in it as well, doesn't it? To give it the sheen. Oh, it does. Oh, it I've does. forgotten all the about shimmer. the sheen. Oh, <laughs> the shimmer is beautiful. It does. I'm going to show you some of this. Mm -hmm. Then we have chalk mousse. So again, ooh, this is lovely and soft. Even softer. This is like your... Um, it's like melted ice cream. It's like your spreadable butter, this mm, is. It's like melted ice cream. It is. Colour. Especially with that colour. That's I know. Just, that's strawberry ice cream in a pot, isn't it? Delish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't eat it with a spoon. No, but do not. Do not do that. This has got a <coughs> dull texture. It's got a, as a, the name says, it's, it's a chalk. chalky. Mm -hmm. So you've got a nice matte finish with this. Then we have... Let me just wipe that again. And pop that lid back on for a sec. Mo says, blue spruce mousse by a goose wearing poos on the loose. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> this one then is expanding mousse. And this one is a little bit more rubbery. Yeah, it's got a different texture, isn't different it? Different texture altogether. So even if you left the lid off and you've lost your labels, mm -hmm. you can tell by the texture mm, which it possibly. is. Possibly. Because... You can see it still spreads very nicely, mm -hmm. but it is a little bit more rubbery. So, I thought I would give you a little bit of a demonstration today. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to make some, uh, do some techniques on I am, so I am. not making any one I haven't project. got any cards to show you. No, I'm not making any one these. project, but having a good old play. Yes. Does any moose have a colour like rose gold? I don't think they do. We have got... There's a few pinks, isn't yeah, there? But there's I, not a rose. Not, they're not rose gold. No. Though. No. Sorry, Elfie. So first of all, I'm going to show you our expanding moose. So I've done a few little demonstrations Ooh. with this. Right. Hold so, uh, Mo says, spray a background with sparkle spray. Gently wipe chalk mousse through a stencil over the sparkly background, and the contrast is amazing. Oh, very, very nice. Simple. I was going to say to you, think of your coloured background mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, because and they look amazing. Suzanne Dawn is joining us as well. Hi, Suzanne. So, I this was me having a little play yesterday. So, this is our expanding mousse. Wow. It gives you lots of texture. It does, doesn't it? If you don't want that much texture, you put it on thinner. Oh. And then you get a flatter surface. But it does catch the edges, look. It has. That's the edges of my stencil. Mm. But then if you put it on thicker, you get this gorgeous puffiness. I love the texture on the... Um... Expanding mix. Expanding! I'm looking at the pots going, the word's going to come to me. So, there we go. <laughs> where did I get my stencil from? Mm, let's have a look. The kit that we just, uh, the set that we just showed you. I made my stencils out of this die. Because it's a verso, give exactly. yourself a nice thick border. So, if I'm using mousses, I will always cut into a, a metallic card. It doesn't matter if it's a Miri card, if it's a satin card, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It could be an Iri, Iri Miri. Yeah, whatever you've got. could be any of them. Whatever you've got, um, lots of, basically. If you've had colours in a kit and you think, I am never, ever going to use that, mm -hmm. it's not the colour I like to choose, use that. Make yes. your stencils out of that. Definitely. So I've left a bigger border. Julia is joining us from New York. Sorry I'm so late. Don't worry, Julia. You're we've very only, welcome. We've only run through what's happened this week already. So, I'm going to pop my stencil. You can spray the back of these with a, with a glue. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't tend to. No. The other thing you could do is our glue pens. I don't know whether yes, we've got one because here. Because they are they're a two way glue and they're temporary adhesive, aren't they? Or yes. They're a dotted type runner. Dotted yes. Type runner. You yeah. could do it with any of them. If you're putting the glue pen on, make sure it's all dry first. Mm-hmm. Because otherwise it's just gonna to stick to your card. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Who else did so I I'm see gonna here? So one of our Facebook users is saying, I bought some gold flakes and I forgot to put the lid back on. Drop the flakes <gasps> everywhere. I oh, like to clean no. that sounds like a Mammy Ali incident. <laughs> Mammy Ali incident. It, just. <laughs> it sounds like a, I'm going to hoover the lot up incident Welcome to me. Welcome to my world. There may be some large chunks, mind that you could save. Yeah, you could save some of that, definitely. Um, Raquel is saying there are some metallic ones and you can always mix them with inks. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can add colour with the inks into these. Yes, you can. And Raquel also says she has... Um, a nice demo herself coming up with the mousses. Oh, fantastic. Upcoming project with some mousse on it, it adds the perfect texture. Excellent. Right. I always burn my expanding mousse so it looks like cooked marshmallow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice one, yeah. So I'm just popping this on with a spatula. So Vicky's saying she needs to stock up on the chalk mousses and a few others. Yeah. Well, I think I would grab it's one of them. perfect everything. time now, isn't it? So put a nice thick layer because I want to get a nice puffy effect. Did I say Julia from New York has joined us? Oh, I don't know. Hi, Julia. Hi, Vicky. Vicky's Hello, Matthew. everybody. So this is going on nice and thick. The thicker you go, the more bubbling you're going to get. Do the dies cut stencil plastic? Oh, I've I never don't tried think my they do. No. no, we have. You no. have to have a very simple shape. Mm, it's have to be a very open to. Yeah. You can do anything intricate, I'm sure. Absolutely not. So probably if you wanted to use an outside edge, then yes, but not anything with a similar to detail no. at all. No, I wouldn't. Um. So I'm Elfie says, she's already tried mixing pink mousse with gold mousse, but the colour was not so nice. That wasn't what she was after. Uh, mm. Crafty Ladybug has joined us as well. <coughs> Hello, my darling. I'm just giving it a little bit of a stir again. Uh, and Sue Hare says, magnetic platform. Yeah, we forgot our words, it's upstairs. We did, <laughs> we did. So, lack tack it is. We're yeah. a little bit under the weather this week, aren't we? Right, be careful now because these leaves are loose. So, if you're going to get any of the mousse underneath, this is where it's going to happen. Oh, you can see that one pinned. Just be a bit more gentle around your leaves. I mean, obviously, you can do this as well with any stencil you've got. I really like, I don't like the thinner coat, I'll be quite honest. No, you like to get a good amount on there, don't you? If you're going to use an, um, <laughs> a, what are you Sorry, um, I've just read a comment, D. Sewell, uh, the puppy sounds like me with a little fat belly. Oh, <laughs> so me as well, us, too. Yeah. If you're going to use the expanding so mousse, then I think you need to get the best effect. Oh, definitely. If you're going to go to the effort of putting that type of mousse, you exactly. may as well do it. Do it with style, Al. I will. Um, who else is here? We've got... Um, mm -hmm. I did see somebody else, I'm sure. Oh, I've been pretty much back to Sibley. Sorry, Sue. DCI hair. DCI hair. Oh, Even bless. Not. Can't be on Sydney <laughs> Street. Definitely not. I usually stack layers of cheap crowd stock and waterproof to make stencils from my dyes. Yeah. Nice. Nice. There we are. We're almost there. Yeah, you do have to be a little bit more careful with it, and you rather than a stencil. Yes, you do. But then it's it crowd stock at the end of the day. Exactly. But you have got that coat in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop that back in. You can. Scrape any excess off your stencil. Oh, not bad. No, I think that's pretty good. 
-hmm. but I'm just going to pop it over there for now. So what do we do with this then? Let's pop the lid on. Where's your heat gun out? Phew. There you go. She's got it. She got I it. I got it. So you, oh, you are going to need a heat gun to make it puff. Mm -hmm. Although you can use this mousse as a regular mousse as well. Yes, you can. That's something we don't always say. We don't. The one thing that will happen with this, I'm hoping... Can you see the sheen in that now? Mm -hmm. Is it picking up the sheen? I think so. Yeah. Well, when I heat it, that sheen is going to go. So... I tilt this a little bit and we go from the bottom. It does take a while for the gun to heat up. It though. does. But I'm not putting my hand under it. Absolutely not. Please don't. There you go. You see that starting to go? Mm. Right across the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of, do you remember those indoor fireworks that used to get the kind of ooze? <laughs> reminds me a bit of that too. Hmm. Do you know what this would be lovely on? Yeah. The cast. Oh! <laughs> it's there, sorry, yes. I didn't see it. We have a fabulous new die set coming out. Uh huh. We've just been filming them, that's right. Yeah, it would be good for that. It would. Mm. So just keep heating across until it all bubbles. It does take a little while, but, you know, it, it is because you're doing a full sheet, isn't it? And I've got it there. Yeah. We've got lots of um, good tips for making stencils. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got the dies there, so why not use them? Yeah. There we are. It's going a bit quicker along the top edge. Yeah. Because it's a bit thinner. It's good to see, though. Oh, I love it. It always reminds me of when I first started crafting and it was um, it was in Boston the first got me into mm -hmm. it because I just loved to see the alchemy and this is the same to me. There we are. That's it, all done. So let's Lovely. turn that off. So we've got some really, really good tips on making stencils so uh, who said right Nicole says that she waterproofs hers so when she uses right uh, cheap cardstock and she'll waterproof it so Melissa asked what do you use to waterproof it and uh, Nicole uses water down PVA and she waterproofs good her stencil idea. good very, idea very very good idea uh, Suzanne missed which mousse is being used. This is expanding. our natural cotton expanding mousse. Uh, Leah says the expanding mousse always reminds her of that old style wallpaper with the foamy designs yes. used again. Um, Anna Glitter. Anna Glitter, that's the ones. Um, and Blue Moon makes stencils using clear adhes adhesive shelving paper, the contact paper. So oh, sticky back plastic. Nice. So stick that to your cardstock yeah. and then cut it through. And she said it works wow. for a few dozen times. Amazing, amazing ideas. I like that. And It's Crafty says, I need this now. <laughs> oh, bless you. Wait till Sunday. Wait till Sunday. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Mind, these are on offer today with the papers. Yes, that's true. They are in the, um, <coughs> some of the mooses are in the um, Shop Your Crafts bundles this week as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yes, we do have that deal starting on Sunday where you buy one and you get two free. I said you buy, buy one, one and you get, get two, two free. free. Exactly. <laughs> Don't think that's showing up as much as I want it to. No. 
because of the colour. Yeah. It is. It has got a sheen. If I raise in the centre here, mm -hmm. I've popped some wet mousse on top. So if you find that the sheen does go, because it does, it does when, go. You, when you heat it, because it's puffing right up, you lose the sheen. But all you have to do is pop some expanding mousse, the same one, if you want the same colour, on your finger and just rub it over the top. Or if you wanted areas in a different colour, you can do what you I was do doing that. now. I know I shouldn't put my finger in the pot. I wouldn't advise it. We I would go say through ours quite quickly though. We do. So if you're only using a little bit at a time, I then would put it with a spatula onto your yeah, your Definitely. workbench. Definitely. Um, but you could mix these colours, could yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you could. Let's open this one then. And says a champagne bottle will be here on Saturday, and maybe the mosaic set on Monday. Nice. Lovely. Nice, nice, nice. Right, I will be good because this is a new pot. And DCI Hair says she just wants to sit and peel it all off again. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it we is. all did that it's with got, the paper, It's got we? that. It's got that thing, isn't it? You know, I just want to... I'm just going to pop a little bit on my finger. Um, Anne Taylor says, will Jess or waterproof the stencil? I don't think it will, Anne. I don't think I so. I think that's a water-based... That's a matte. Yeah, it's a water-based product, so I don't think so. I guess you could use like Mod Podge or something, like wash some of that down. Mm -hmm. That'd probably work. Don't know. So you can mix these colours together. Uh, Raquel is saying, does the mousse sale begin on Sunday? Yes, it does. Yes. And then on top of that, then if you wanted to add a little bit more, I've got a that one is peony pink. Let me just check. Yeah, peony pink. And this is Mother of Pearl. Oh, I love that one. And the peach one is Calypso. Coral Calypso. Mm. So let's open this one too. Uh, Mo says the mousse looks amazing rubbed on embossed paper. It does. It does. You can highlight any oh, of your embossing with that. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So you can just add any of this on top. And Mama Pillow says, there goes my wallet again. I love the mousses. Yeah, don't forget, these ones are in bundles today. But across the board, you will be getting buy one, get two free. Across all embellishment, expanding and chalk mousse from Sunday. So, what should we do now? Mm. I had a few little demos for you. DCI Hair has something arriving today as oh, well. Oh, nice. Is that your champagne um, bucket? So your bouquet. Okay, Mrs. Bouquet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll have a different sheet now. I am going to go in with a different stencil. Oh, yes, good idea, Nicole. Uh, Mod Podge is also a great waterproof sealer. Yes. Of course it is. Yes, it is. Mm. Yes, it is champagne for sale. Oh, nice. Ready enough today? <coughs> so. And Emma made a flip-flap book using mousses, and it was so much fun. Oh, nice. Well, you know what to do with that, Emma? Tag us in your mix. Yes. Please. So I'm going in this time now with embellishment mousse, peony pink. And I'm going to do a little bit of a mixy matchy with this one. Ooh. So I'm going to pop a little bit in. And Julie's asking Mo, which mousse do you use for embossed papers? Any of them, Julie. Anything. If you just add in a little bit of sheen and colour to the top of your embossed papers, absolutely any of them. Because if you don't heat expanding mousse, then it doesn't puff. No. Exactly. It just works the same as anything else. Yeah. But obviously chalk mousse doesn't have the yes. mica, so yeah. if chalk you want mousse, the sheen. Yeah, if you want the sheen it has to be an embellishment or expanding. an expanding if that's the only colour that's available, you know. But the chalk mousse has that chalky finish. But I mean you may want that on your embossed cardstock yeah. or some of your embossed um, you know, when you, you run through with an embossing folder. You may want that. Exactly. So I'm going to do down to the bottom mm -hmm. with a spatula. A spatula? I want a spatula. 
because I want to show you the difference. All oh, right, okay. And I'm going to show you the other side using a sponge. Mm. I am a bit messy with a spatula, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm, uh, I'm a bit all over the place with it. And I'm not as tidy as I like to be. Uh, Philomena's joined us. Can't make an inspiration. Hello to you, Hello. Philomena. Uh, just joined the live. Love, love, love the mousses. Aren't they amazing? They absolutely are. You can have so much fun with them. There we are. You probably shouldn't go over it, but I am going to. Um, Emma says she did put it on the Facebook page, but didn't do the hashtag because the decorative dyes she used weren't tonic. Tut tut. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she used a lot of Nova product on Craft Perfect. Of course That's you fine. can show us, Emma. Of course, course you can. can. Hang on, let's open this properly. So I have got one of our blending sponges. And I love it. Spongy. These. Spongy. I love a spongy. So I'm going to pop some onto my sponge. Uh, do all the mousses dry on their own if you just leave them or do they have to be heated? They don't have to be heated at all, Gemma. Um, they will dry on their own. You can apply a small amount of heat if you do want them to dry quicker, but if you are not uh, heating them up for um, expanding purposes, then I wouldn't bother. They don't take long to dry. No, they don't. They really don't. You can water any of these down as a paint. Yes, you can. Anne's Crafts is saying she's had good luck adding a bit of distilled water to her mousse yeah. and letting it sit overnight when it gets a bit dry. You can do that. I mean, you can also, if you feel like it's, if you use it and you think, oh, that's feeling a little bit dry, give it a little spritz of distilled water and then pop your uh, lid back on. So and, I'm going to put it to one side. Pop that up there. So can you see the difference there? This is the spatula side, so you've got a definite raised yes. effect. And you've got yeah. more colour as well, funnily, because you've yes, got you the have. depth of colour, haven't you? You have. And then you've got a flatter version on the other side with the sponge. Um, Helen, um, our first time bento box maker, why is it bad to use your fingers with the mousses? I have a couple of them and loved, love the effect of rubbing them over embossed card or vellum. It's not the using your finger, it's the putting your finger in the pot. That's the problem. So we try to keep contaminants um, away from the pots. The so thing is, we, we don't always have clean hands, do we? We don't, we don't. So the best thing to do is to take a little bit out, pop it onto your mat like I was doing there, I mean, that's enough just when you're rubbing over a bit your finger, of cardstock. Yeah, definitely. So, so I'm not going to waste this now. No? Because well, we don't waste anything, do we? We do not. The crafters. Mm -hmm. So what if I wanted to put <coughs> a sentiment onto this card? Mm -hmm. And you want it to match? I want it to match. Ooh. Or even a layer behind it. Just use whatever's left i tell you what i have got a little bit of mm -hmm. water just wet it down gently oh nice so it's a little bit paler yeah but it's, but it's going to match yeah yeah and i'm not wasting what's on my sponge or my spatula no because we'll take whatever's on your off uh let's have a little look who else because you know i, I hate waste uh, Norlin has joined us. Howdy everyone. Hello. Howdy to you. Uh, Kim Nesbitt Edwardson. I've been trying to get some crafting done but it's not going well. I'm having trouble with my hand and found out this week that surgery is needed to fix oh, it. Oh, Same as you, Al. Yeah. Same as you. And she says, of course, it's her dominant hand. Oh. That's the trouble I'm having because I've hurt my wrist and it's my dominant hand. Yeah. So you can't rest it, can you? You can never rest your dominant hand. I've been there. You always have to do something and, and I'm... It's getting better, and then I'm using it again, and it's... I'm Is that picking it. up on screen there? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. can just see that. Uh, Linda is saying, uh, never use tap water. Of no, course, do never not use, tap, use water. tap water. Has to be. I tell you what, I'm has, sure... Has to be distilled, or 
deionized is the yeah. other one, isn't it? Deionized or distilled. It's really cheap to buy. You can pick it up in the supermarket. Yes, you can. It's usually with like all the car stuff. Yeah. Because uh, Dice Hair said that she bought a big container of water from a car shop. So it's and they were you use it for um, engines, don't you? you? Use it for batteries, the batteries. Yeah. So yeah. I had one. Only one I've ever bought, and I bought this years ago, and it was about a pound then. Yeah. So it's probably, say, two pound now. Mm, it's probably like about two and a half litres, wasn't it? It wasn't the big five litre. No, it was smaller. it's a smaller one. Maybe a litre. <coughs> I don't know. And then uh, Sue was also saying, take it off your stencil too. Yes. Yes, you could. Yes, don't waste any of this. You could. Because all this will come off. Ooh. Give it a little spray. Good thought, Gaz. If you have a condenser dryer, that is deionized water that comes out of there. Ah, oh, right. I take it straight on the day. I take it straight out, like ah, big it's because it's that big huge thing in it, and then I swivel myself around and tip it straight on the drain. There we are. Mm. So see, all that will come up. The other thing you can do, which hang on, hang on. Hang I think on. I do need um, a wrist splint, so because I don't think it's getting better on its own now. I'm using it too much. Let me get another piece of card. Uh, Mama Pillow uses uh, Looses as shiny watercolour paint. Yes. Um, and have used the tonic watercolour pencils on the mat to vary the shade. Nice. Yes, you can do like all that. that. Like that. Uh, Suzette says she's never thought of doing that with the sponge. Uh, Kuipu's joined I us. I love using a sponge. Aloha, Kuipu. Aloha. Uh, Carol's order came yesterday. Planning to make some birthday cards this weekend. We'll nice. see how far I get. Good luck. So I'm going to leave it at that a little bit. Pretty but that neat. is just with your water down mousse. Very nice. Beautiful. The, uh, have we, will you do me a favour? Will you have a look, look at the mousses behind us? I will. And see what we've got for there. What would you like? A really dry pot. A really dry pot. A really dry pot. A really dry pot. Yeah. No? Hang on, I'll find you one now. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do now, I've got another stencil. You're pretty much You can see. Are oh, they? Yeah. Nothing in the basket under you. Well, this one's dry. Well, not dry, but it is quite okay. Quite dry. Okay. You can still get some. It'll off come it. off on my finger, but it is quite dry to use. Yeah. So nice even one. if it, I mean, our thing we say is looks like a hockey puck. Yeah. <laughs> and even if it looks like a hockey puck, you can still restore that. You can. It takes some time. It does. I'm not going to say that. <coughs> because no. it doesn't. Let's but clean off can. my spatula again. Yeah, get that spatula out. Right, where was I? But that's all you do is add a good amount of water. So this is all deionized water in here. And then just keep mixing until it comes back. What well, you'll find it will absorb all this water mm -hmm. and then you start on leave it to, you know leave it to one side all that will get absorbed it'll be a little bit softer and then you go in with another bit of water mm -hmm. until it's the texture that you want yeah you just keep mixing don't you you do it does take time it does take time i mean i did it and poured too much in one i yeah. remember that Do you remember that one yeah but you had a lovely paint on the top. It was gorgeous. <laughs> it was absolutely gorgeous and it was still usable. So just keep going and keep mixing. Let's have a little look where we were so. Because that is a um, lovely soft texture now. But just keep at it. Be patient and just keep at it. The mousses are made of water based. They are. So, so they will, the water in them then will definitely um, evaporate over time. So you can expect, uh, you can expect them to dry out a bit. I'm turning that heater off. I'm having a moment. <laughs> so you have a little friend. 
This is this is the packing that I this pinched. Is, this is packing wrap. Look at the the desk um, there. Let me cut you a bit out. So I'm going to take it to the clean bit. I found this on a shelf as I was coming in. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do that just because it is not. Um, it's not ideal to have the size that that is. No. We only need a little bit. Where's the dusty bit there? On that end. Right, I got it. So we'll Let's have cut a bit that this off. End. I'm going to cut the dusty bit off. There you go. And there's yours. I meant to bring it in from home and I forgot. Yeah. So oh, it doesn't rip as easy. No, as, it doesn't uh, because it's... Um, it literally is the pack-in stuff, isn't it? Yeah. What do they call it? Shrink wrap. Isn't it? So when it sticks to itself a lot. So this is like... Um, your sandwich coverings yeah. and things like that. But the best thing to do... Pop your lid on. Yeah. Hold it down. Get as much air out as you can. Pop your lid on. Hang on. Make sure it's straight. Yeah. Make sure it's straight as well. I will. There you are. So um, you've kept as much air out of that as you possibly can. And it'll hold on to the water it as will. much as possible as well. You can press it down as well onto oh, yes. your so nose. Linda is saying here that Tim keeps plastic wrap on top of the product. So you know like when you make custard and you don't want a skin to form a top That's it. it. That's what and we do it. And you press the plastic wrap onto that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea there actually. We are. You get less in There's again. There's nothing's going to get in there. There we are. And it's ready for the next time you go and use it then. Excellent. Uh, Kim Nesbitt Evans and Edwardson is saying that she loves the mugs we've got in the on the shelf in the back there with the brushes in them. Per Lincoln. Yep. They You've are available that? on the website at the moment, aren't they? They are. Um, there's lots and of the people having does. surgery on their wrists. Oh. Wow. It's That's, not good. It's not. Al's going to have uh, her carpal tunnel done eventually, aren't you, Al? I am. Hopefully yeah. soon. Um, and DCI Hair has restored crumbly mousse that someone was throwing away. Yeah. Well done. You I'm can still glad. use it. I'm glad you persevered with those. Um, and Mo said, if they get really dry, you can scoop it out and... Like put water with it and, and really yes. mash it like yeah, you a, can. like you do with a mortar and put pestle. it in a nice bowl or something. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Yeah, that's really good. Can you restore with a bit of glycerine or acrylic for paints? I don't think I would, Linda. I would stick to the. I would stick um, to a water base. The distilled water. The is glycerine the best. doesn't dry as well as the water base. No, mm, so your tacky. mousse is gonna stay. Tacky. It's gonna be sticky. Mhm. Mm so this one now is the chalk mousse because I want to show you the different effects. So I'm going to pop again. I'm going to do half the stencil with this. And then I'm going to do half as another technique. Excellent. So Vicky wears split splints in bed at night and it helps a lot, she said. Oh, so remember Vicky right. was having trouble with her wrist, yes, she wasn't was. she? Yeah. She was. Might have to buy one, Vic. Might have to. So I'm not very good at getting this terribly even. I try, you know, I keep going over, but I still get marks in there. If that's not what you want. How about a brayer? Ooh. Hang on now, I'm going to move over this side and bray it over the top. That's going to give you a nice... Oh, look at the texture it's giving you. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. You need to have roughly the same amount of paste mm -hmm. on all of it though. That one was a yeah. little bit flatter in the middle. <coughs> Thanks, Vicky. This reminds me of... Send me a link. <laughs> the older people here will remember Polly Ripple. I remember Polly Ripple. Do you remember Ripple? Polly Ripple? Do you know why I remember Polly Ripple? They've used it on my blinging walls in the house. Here you are then. And it's a nightmare because they've used it like to smooth out inconsistencies in the walls. 
but smoothed it. Yeah. So when you go to paint, just bubbles. Oh comes no. Up. It's been a nightmare. The uh, other thing you can do when you're cleaning your brayer then, spray a bit of water on it. Oh. Run your brayer over. Nice. It'll get all your water out. And like again, it. you've got a background. Like Once lot. you've got all the, or all the most that you think you have, it's this very, very pale. I don't know whether it's picking up on screen. We can just about see it, yeah. Yeah? Can we just say, Cameron, go away. Yeah. Go stop, and have your holly bar. Stop rubbing our nose in it. What Cameron says is, I have a crafty question. Can you paper craft beside a pool in the sun? Yes, of course yes, you, you can. can. <laughs> yes, you should have taken luggage and a tangerine with you, shouldn't you? How dare you? Can can we just have a, a, a discussion about people who go away on holiday and only take a backpack? <laughs> who does that? Cameron. Mm. <laughs> That's who does that. He does. Yeah, he's just taking a backpack. He hasn't booked any... any no, not even else. a cabin bag. No. A backpack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. <laughs> so now I'm going to use one of our bristle brushes. Ooh, or you put it on a jelly plate. Yes. Um, DCI nice. yeah. I did well. think about that today. <coughs> uh, Nicole says, does anyone have a spare working left arm I could borrow for a bit? I oh, want to play. Oh, bless you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nicole. Catherine George has joined us. Hello, Hello. to you. Oh. Oops. Are you stuck? There we are. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I like seeing the different types of finish you get with this. Yeah. Because when you're using different um, tools to put it on with... You will get a different effect and with And the colour all. looks different because when you put it on thicker, obviously you've got the depth of colour, like you I said have. earlier. You have. Mm. So I'm going to leave these to one side. The other thing is, don't waste what's on your brush. Absolutely not. Get a piece of card, spray your card, nice, use your brush, and clean your brush off on the clean card, clean your brush off on the card, nice, you're not going to waste anything then, and what's on your desk, keep adding it in, uh, Cam says, we did, and we were fine, I'm assuming this is the backpack mm. situation, Eva had plenty of space in hers, but oh, that's Eva. because Eva is tiny and is going to spend the week in bikinis. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, there's that. When you are tiny, your clothes are tiny. Mm -hmm. So that is your brush effect. You can still see the bristles. I like the brush strokes mm -hmm. in this. Yeah. You know that if I use this, I'll either use a sponge or a brush because I like to see the texture. Yeah. Do we still um, have your card around that I butchered for strawberries on Tuesday? Because you did so. that on that, didn't you? Did I? Yeah. I did. I did. Look at me go. So, so where I did butchered I... all the strawberries off it. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So if you have this kit, you've got this stuff already. You've this got was the this chalk mousse. mousse, wasn't it? It was yep. the pink chalk. That's why it's so um, so light. You can you can barely see it. But I used the brush for that, I think. I mm -hmm. think you did. Because yeah. I like that texture. I like to see. I don't want it just to look like a plain piece of card. If I'm going to the effort to do something with it, I want to see it. The other thing you can do as well is your baby wipes. Oh, oh yes. That you clean course. up with. Mm -hmm. Use these. Uh, Luquita's joining us. Hello, Luquita. Hope you're this okay. This is very, very pale, mind. Uh, how does one clean those brushes and the bristles keep falling into my project? I know that they do. They don't as they age. Yeah. It's, it's, only like when any, it's like when you have a paintbrush. Yeah, when they're new, they do. This is very, very pale and you can't see it as much. Mm -hmm. But a darker colour, you will. Or yeah. even on black, maybe. Where's the black, black one? Card? Yeah. It's ah, a bit dry. Yeah, it's a bit dry. Mm -hmm. We'll have a bit more water, but there. Yeah, so you could tint, you could tint that it. as well. Um, 
Nicole has got a problem with her wrist, so Gemma is offering her left arm. Oh, bless. <laughs> That's what crafters do. <laughs> I have no energy to do anything, so I won't miss it for a while. <coughs> what did you find? Brilliant. Obviously, I'm going to give this a good clean afterwards. What you tend to find is on black card, the mica shows. Yeah. On white card, the colour in the mousse shows. So you get two different effects. Yeah. So Emma is saying she always has spare card and stencils nearby so she can use every single speckle of mousse up. Good idea. Exactly. Emma. So that is the mousse there. So you can see the mica. Uh-huh. Let me wipe that bit You see off. the sheen, don't you? You see the sheen. It does change slightly. It does change the colour a bit. I think the one is a silver and this one is gold, I think. Oh, it could be a different colour maker in them. Yeah. Yeah, you can put it on thicker, obviously. You put get. it however much you want. Yes, yeah, so you can put it on thicker and you will see the colour then, won't you? Are you close? So there she goes. Here we go with the baby one. <laughs> I want you to try things. I want you to have a play. Yeah. So it's always about making a finished project yeah. or anything perfect. It's about trying different things. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Um, Kuipu says when she made the jump pot, the um, holder doesn't slide in easily or go into the slot. Or am I doing wrong? It could be that the the little pieces that you use for spacers are not um, lined up well enough. Uh, it could just be where you've wrapped around the cardstock. It's just sticking out a little bit too much. It is quite precise. The other thing you can do... You may not have enough of the spacers. Yeah, enough of the spacers is the other thing. The other thing you can do if you're having trouble with the spacers, you could always put some foam part, uh, some 3D foam in there. Yes, you? you could. Have you got funky foam? Yeah. Yeah, that some would, foam. Uh, that might be <coughs> easier. I could try running a white candle down the side. I was thinking of a candle as well, slide. and that yes. will help slide. So just a, a bar of soap or a white candle or anything like that. That does help it. So I'll bring in the ones. These are all dry now. I mean, all the ones I've shown you are wet. Mm -hmm. So that was a thinner version of the... That way, maybe we can see it better. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I hold that up. You can only see the very bottom of it. I know. There we go. This one was our expanding mousse. So the mm -hmm. thinner you put it on, the less expansion you get. The thicker, the more you get. And it's got to be thicker for me. Uh, Regina is saying a crayon down the side as well. Yeah, yeah that'll work yes. the same way. Again, this is on white. Same thing, but on white. Mm -hmm. And you've coloured, you've I've put a little up. bit of colour on mm -hmm. it to get a little bit of sheen back into it. These are my stencils that I've saved. So I've used all these, but I will be using them again. Yep. So don't waste them. I have, I have had new ones today because they were a bit wet. This again, this is going through with the spatula. And this side is the brush. So they're the same colour, but just different thicknesses. So have a little look. What applicators have you got? Mm, there's lots of different ways you can pop that on. Exactly. There. I think that one was a sponge. Yeah. And you can still see the sheen on there. Sure that. This was put on with a spatula. And I've made a bit of a mess here, I'll be quite honest. I did say to you I wasn't the best with a spatula. So how do I clean that up? Well, you cut your dye again. And this is something you can't do with the stencil. Mm -hmm. You can with the dye. Cut it in the same colour as your base card. And just re-layer over the top. Perfect. You've cleared all your mess then. Yep, definitely. Spatula. This definitely one was cleaning up. Um, I think that was my brayer, mm -hmm. and I think that might have been a sponge, sponge. I think that yeah, was. Yeah, look at the marks, that's a sponge. Yeah, this is just what I was cleaning up. That one has got a bit more water in it mm -hmm. than this one, so that must have been the first brush in. Yeah. That's the second. That's it. 
And then the last one then, what was I doing with this one? Was I just playing? I think you were. No, I think that's that's a sponge. Right. And that, that is, is a spatula. That's a spatula. Lovely. So have we given you some ideas to have a little play with? Get your mooses out and have a play. I would say so. It's 20 past. We've got to do some show and tell. Oh my games. gosh. So Come I'm going to run through uh, next week while Leo gets show and tell ready. Uh, so as we've said already, new Sunday specials will start at midnight and it's six guy deals uh, this week. Also, you will get a buy one, get two free across embellishment and expanding and chalk mousse. Your mousses. All the mousses. The moose in the hoose. <laughs> I love that we had to get shrink wrap because we forgot the. Uh, I know. The cling film. I meant to bring it in from home this so today. Right, so Monday then. We are live in the craft room at 11, but also we do have our big spring clear out. Uh, so this is kind of like a vault esque type of thing. The problem, the reason we're not really calling it a vault this time is because we don't have anything to add into it. You've wiped us out. Yeah. All our new stuff's gone. So we haven't got any new additions to put into the vault. So basically, what we've got is there are some uh, designer choice, old designer choice, old uh, stamp clubs, and old showcases. Uh, and they're at very, very good prices. So you'll be able to get those from Monday. Uh, Tuesday, you will have Tuesday again. Two products at half price for one These week. ones are staying on for a week. This oh, time. I was going to say I thought it was a day. Because it's part of the big spring sale. Mm. Ah, right. okay. Hours, so. so we're keeping these ones on for a week uh, this time. Then Wednesday, we've got our big spring clear out kits at great prices. Uh, we'll so also who was have asking about a kit? That was a Don Moo. There you are. Have a little look at Don Moo. We've got lots of kits in there at really, really good prices. Um, we also have a show on Create and Craft called Crafting on the Clock. It's at 7pm and you won't actually have Geordie for this one. This is a quite a quick fire. Um, they go up and down the counter. It's just wow. with one of the presenters. There's no demos, no nothing. It's just, we've got this at this price. Do you want it? But there's usually some really good bargains, Such isn't there? Such good prices on I think those. it's worth a look. It's definitely worth a look. Definitely. Um, Thursday, we've got the big spring clear out. £10, $10 and under. Plus offers on Nouveau, Craft Perfect, Washi and Ribbon. Um, we've also got the Creative Make Launch, which is the Fairy Tale Tower that you can see just in front of Al there. Just a sneak peek. That's just enough. a sneak yeah. peek. <laughs> we're not going to show no. you anymore. No, we don't have time. We don't. But this is what would look stunning with the moose. It would. It would look very, very good. And then on Friday, big spring clear out, mystery bags. A paper one, <gasps> a Nova one, dyes and tools. Oh, Ooh, I like that. We also have a that. very quick sneak peek of the kit since I've got to put that on the cards. Oh, yes. Okay. So, sneak peek of the, of the kit, um, let's do that one, and... These are up. adorable. They are We've fun. had such fun playing with these. Yeah, we have. Right, let's show this one, because this one looks stamped. So, quick sneak peek. I'm not going to touch it, because I'm a bit mucky. Quick sneak peek. So, this is your, what's it called? Sweet, Sweet Treats. Treats Collection. And this is more of a die cut version there. So you get what looks like a chocolate box, shall we say. And they all open. Yes, they do. I'm not going to show you any more than that of the kit. We have already designed the Craft Along project <coughs> as well. And we'll yes, show that we in have. the reveal video tomorrow. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, then. Are we ready Come on, show and tell. Show, show and tell. Let's do it. Okay, let's do this and a bit of this. Right, so first one is from Regina. Oh, is this Regina's this what fits in here? What fits in the egg. Oh, so. lovely. Do you know what? This was so funny. Oh, Regina, thank you so much for doing this. It really brought a smile to my face. So this was our um, bunny and egg kit. Yep, it was. 
Oh, well, there goes the first alarm. So oh, we bless. have some quick sticks. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fit in the egg. They do. Uh, we also have some cinnamon for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Regina knows that I am addicted to cinnamon. Yes, you are. I mean, the only thing I don't do is gnaw on those sticks. I mean, <laughs> let's be fair. Maybe that's what we should do for you. Maybe we'll we get should. you one of them. Perhaps we should. That Maybe is... A bowl of maple syrup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Lord. I love it. Beautiful. So funny. Oh, some, some drinks. Squeezy drops. squash. I love it. Squeezy squash, yeah. Uh, lemon juice, yeah, that will fit. Nice, you can talk about that today. Put yes, your head near. Yes, I've run out of lemon. Uh, Girl Scout Thin Mints, well, partial sleeve anyway. I mean, you just have to eat the other half. That's well, fine. exactly. What a shame. Exactly. What a shame. I've heard they are the best of the cookies, of the Girl Scout cookies. Nice. I've never had Girl Scout cookies. No, me I no. haven't either. No, no, never been. Oh, no, that, that is, a is lovely. Case. So, so that means, means she said that she used this as a liner for her all red Starburst jelly beans. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, oh we got some Reese's Reese. in there. So Reese. this looks like the individually wrapped cups. I can see at least three in there. <laughs> nice. I'm supporting that, absolutely. Oh, I love Oh, Reese's. Squishmallow. A blind oh. box, yeah. These are gorgeous. Oh, cream wow. egg as well. Cadbury caramel eggs or cream eggs, depending on your preference. Yeah. Five of them, mind. That's wow. Wow. Pretty good going. It is. Or a dozen oh, mini Cadbury eggs. Oh. oh, I love the way your cream eggs come. I always don't come like that. No, they, they don't. It's in their cute little box as well. No, sure that's lovely. And a Lego Creations 3 in 1 Panda Bear. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love so this. So funny. Oh, and some oh, jelly, jelly bellies. Oh. Just for me. Leo's I favorites. love jelly bellies. Leo doesn't anymore. Not the nasty ones, though. Oh, oh she's kisses. kisses. Oh, nice. And oh, some... chocolates. Oh, do you know what? Isn't that one of the best brands that I've heard of? The... Yeah. Is it Gir 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 Giradelli or Giradelli? Gir Gir something like that, yeah. Giradelli. I don't make a very Mini Kit Kats. Mm. Nice lemon ones too. Oh, we don't get lemon. No, cats we don't. Here. And a pack of playing cards. Oh. from Bucky's. Bucky's. Of course they are. <laughs> oh, and some Reese's eggs as well. <coughs> oh, so, so many funny. things you can fit into so this many one things. little box. Who to think that? So many things. Regina wiped out the store. Uh, more one snackies now. Yeah, I think we all do it this yeah, point. Yeah, I do know. It. So next up we have this one from, and I'm really sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly, Shu Min Tang. Oh, well oh, done. Nice. Um, I really like this box, you know. Me too. It's cute, isn't it? It is. They say, I'm simply amazed at the locking mechanism of this box. It wasn't the easiest to put together, but I just love how it turned out. Yeah, mm. yeah. We said Beautiful. the same, and that's why it went ahead. Sometimes, if things are a little bit too tricky to make, then we'll go, nah, it's going to be too tricky yeah. to do. But this was so clever mm. that we were like, yeah, we can make it work. As long as we know we need to be precise mm -hmm. in those little pieces, we can make it work. Because it was so good. We loved that. And gluing all the things under yeah. heavy stuff so they flatten out nicely. Yeah, yes, exactly. I think this was one of the things we first did it on, wasn't it? I think yes, it might think have it been. Was, mm. yeah. We then have from Hannah. Oh, oh have some Hannah today. Make with this month's craft kit. Hannah must be working. Hi, Hannah. If you're watching us, she's back later. been nights, nice, hasn't she? Oh, she has. She, she did has. on Tuesday. She said she was working nights. Mm. Oh, look at that. So this is from Karen. Uh, the lovely arabesque bag. Love the arabesque. Adorable. Bag. And thank you to Ruth and Victoria for their demos. Excellent. Thank you, ladies. Now to go and buy the chocolate orange to pop inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be done. That is beautiful. <coughs> this one is from Caroline. Um, you always say I have loads of craft perfect, then you actually take it all out, make a little board with all the colours you have, and you realise <laughs> you actually have a lot. Yes, you um, know. Also, I have each one in multiples, and another 85 sheets have just landed through the letterbox. <laughs> nice. But it's such a good idea to have swatches that you can actually see them yes. without having to pull out the full yeah. packs. Well, we have tags, don't we? We do. And they're on our desks now, and it makes it so much easier. It does. Trying to... Get your colour palette together. Shall mm -hmm. I use this with this? Or does this look better with this? Yeah. So, it's very good. 
And we've done it with mousses and drops and everything. We have. We? we have. Okay, next up we have... Why is this taking ages to load now? This is from Kath Hattersley. Uh, she says, I wondered if anyone can help. I've just finished making the Wishing You Love Frame Maker Box, but not sure if this would need a box to go in. Can any rec anyone recommend what they have done when making something similar? Mm. Look I would give that as it is. Because mm. that is the box. To me, anyway. Yeah. Wrap it in some paper, mm. maybe. Yes. Some pretty wrapping paper. I love the flowers. I love here. the flowers That's in gorgeous. there. gorgeous. I'm seeing some shimmer powder on here, I think. Mm-hmm. Looks like it. Or wrap a bow around it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Very, very pretty. We that is that gorgeous. Mm-hmm. We then have from Al of the Emma. Um, so now I want to gild everything in my life. <laughs> uh, uh, I did take proper precautions. No Jesse Cat or Mammy Alley in the immediate vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. I love the look on these. So especially they look so real. They do. Gold gilding flakes and black cardstock. I think. Yeah. Is, uh, oh, it is just yeah. perfect, isn't it? The other one for using gold is red underneath it, mm, mm, and you get that too. warm feeling underneath that. It's well, nice. not a feeling, a colour. Mm -hmm. We have then this one from oh, um, that's pretty. Peter. So she's been painting with Nouveau Drops. So it looks like she's, um, obviously she's embossed. Yeah. And then I think she's painted or watercolored or something. But then can you see these highlights in yeah. here mm. with the drops over the top? Just Beautiful. add that tiny touch of extra color. I think it looks amazing. And it's it going to give a bit of a sheen as well, mm -hmm. isn't yeah. it? Really, I love really the colours pretty. you've chosen there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your technique is amazing, but I love mm -hmm. the colours too. Uh, both our DCIs said a nice burly band around yes. that box yes, would be nice. a burly band would be good. Yeah. We then have this one from Pat May. So she says, um, having made it into my craft room to complete Easter, go me. Thought I'd better tidy and sort some stuff, which arrived while I couldn't even get upstairs. Among these were a couple of the A5 tonic folders. Um, so I spent three days on that. The amount of time my leg allows me to craft is now at least one and a half hours and nearly two hours depending on what I'm doing. So I've done, uh, so that done, I have been contemplating what to do and have decided it's my daughter's 10th wedding anniversary in May. I'll make them a memory book. Oh, oh wow. Lovely. Amazing. Look at all these beautifully organised oh, folders. Don't, doesn't that, that look amazing. lovely? And look at the, uh, you love a, a good yeah. label machine, don't you? Oh, I do. Look I like them all going the down in size as, well. as well. Yeah. yeah, all the boxes are labelled. Yeah, oh, fabulous. Beautiful. It makes your oh, organising little heart happy, doesn't it, Leo? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> we like to keep your heart so happy. So much organisation. Oh, and, and there's, there's the start the of memory book, indeed. Oh, well done. I think it's a beautiful idea. Yes, me too. Because we've, we've all got so much stuff these mm -hmm. days. We don't need things, do we? We need memories. We do. Yes. And this is what you give them. craft stuff. So the last yes. one then is from Helen. She says, finally made the beveled star box. Not feeling all Christmassy yet, so use my pastel coloured and glitter cards I bought to give it a more spring-like feel. I love that. That is lovely. It just lovely. goes to show, I mean, it's only a star box. Yeah. yeah. You can use stars all year round. Exactly. Yes. And look how lovely that is. Absolutely beautiful. Very spring like Fabulous. there. Fabulous. So that is our show and tell for that today. That is our show and tell for today. Just want to say hello to Mandy. Hello. Mandy has joined us. Um, just at the very end, Mandy, so sorry. Um, I'll just do a quick wrap up, I think. Mm -hmm. If my voice allows me to. Can it's I say enough. one thing first? I've just run out of Oh, have you? Go on. I may not be here as much. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Not feel alarm off. I may not be here as much as I have been, but I will be popping back and forth. Um, I'm going to be bringing my husband home from hospital. He's been quite poorly, and he's going to need a little bit of extra TLC. But you will see me, just not as often. You're just lowering your hours, aren't you? Still, I am. She's still here. I've just not gone away. Lowering I haven't gone away hours. yet. Yeah. But um, I love how she put the yet in there. I know. Get those words out of your mouth. Okay. Aww. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's always a pleasure having you in our little dungeon with us. Um, we are we're in the in the basement. In the, it's a very nice. <laughs> I mean, the bit that you see is lovely, but the rest of it is a bit dark and dank, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
very funny. Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, pop them in uh, the comment section below. And Leo does go back through and she looks at all of our videos and she does answer anything that she can or directs the question to the correct person. She's really good at doing that. She is. I would forget. She tries. I would forget, I'll be honest. Uh, don't forget if you are a Tonic Craft Kit subscriber, you do get that extra 10% discount on all of your other purchases in the store. You can pay in installments with Clearpay, Shopee, PayPal, Klarna, possibly, not sure. Could be any of those working at any particular time. Just have a little look because they've all got different terms and uh, different lengths of time that you can mm -hmm. have their money for. Uh, what else do we say? Tag us in your mix. mix. We love to see what you're making. We love to show it on our show and tell. It's always good fun to see everybody giving your project all the love it deserves. Because that's what it's all about. It is. And it's sharing that love as well. Sharing ideas. Keeping all those ideas mm -hmm. going. Um, if you could share us with your friends, just because the more people that come and see our videos and give us a little thumbs up and things, it tends to let the powers that be allow us to do this for a bit longer. Yes. So that's what we want to do. We want to stay down here and play with you. You can show all of our uh, all of your projects in our Facebook group, which is the Tonic Officials. No, the Tonic Studios official Facebook group. That's the one. Oh my goodness, too many words. <laughs> um, and if you wanted to use the hashtag Show Tonic or the rest of social media, we are at Tonic Studios. So you'll be able to find us there as well. I love Leo's. So Leo did us cards today and I love Leo's notes. It says, join the Facebook group, like, sub and ding. Oh, I love that. <laughs> if you could give us a cheeky little thumbs up, uh, like our video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Ting! <laughs> That's the ding. Uh, and we will automatically let you know when we are uploading a video or when we go live. We'll be there like magic. Boom. Just we are like magic. that. Just like that. And don't forget, we are also on Twitch as well. Um, we were thinking, weren't we? Should we have a, a, a craft room TikTok? We have made one. We haven't put anything on it yet. Would you like a craft room TikTok? <laughs> That's the other question. Sneaky, got, sneaky peeks from us, basically. It could be sneaky peeks from us. Unsanctioned and nobody else knows about it. <laughs> yes, no, one, no, no one knows about the, uh, the craft room TikTok. We haven't put anything on it yet, but we will. Look out for that as well. See you soon, everybody. It's amazing having you with us all the time. We love it so much. Happy, Happy crafting! crafting.